Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the um, money and luck forecast for the Pisces for the month of April 2016. Thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video. Make sure that you subscribe and also make sure that you subscribe to my um, Gypsy Tarot channel. The link is in the video description box. And if you want a personalized reading, my website address is my website is also in the video description box, the divinemommy.com. Um, so you know this reading may not resonate for everyone. I highly recommend getting a personalized reading. Um, and so what we're gonna be looking at is your current financial situation, Pisces. Like what is your current financial foundation? Um, also, we're going to be looking at uh, will money be coming into your life very soon? Uh, money opportunities that you may want to consider more closely. And who or what project will bring in more money and then the outcome. So um, I'm just going to shuffle, guys, because I keep getting some of the same cards, but just different outcomes. But it just... And it seems like every single time a card tries to jump out, I'm going to look at this card. It always shows up in the reading. So I hope that one doesn't. Um, let me go ahead and just keep shuffling. Get them good and... Good and shuffle. Okay, give me one. Give me a few more seconds. Okay, so Pisces, the card, your first card is the Elder of Wands. So I'm not surprised about this because this is a highly intuitive sign, the Pisces, very self-aware. So it doesn't um, surprise me that the um, Elder of Wands came up in particular, um, dealing with self-identity, knowing thyself as well as you know the morals standing on morals so this is a very strong financial foundation um this is wisdom in confronting obstacles because life is about obstacles how how do you deal with them you know do you deal with them uh, you know in a way that's going to be beneficial or helpful um this is about the this is about self identity so is someone making you you know if some if if someone attempts to make you feel you know a certain type of way you're going to be able to process that in a mature way and not let it bother you so that's a really good card to get um will money be coming into your life very soon yes it will you got this uh, beautiful three of pentacles, which means that it will, but you have to put your creative use to work. I'm sorry, your creative energy. Okay. Um, so it's some sort of partnership, some sort of collaboration, maybe. Um, you know, this card points to long-term success. So whatever it is that you're starting on. Um, not only will you have long-term success, success, but you'll also get money. Um, and I see you getting money within the next week. I can see your business expanding next week if you have a business expand. You know, if you have a business that you're trying to grow, um, this is confirmation that you're on the right path, okay? Okay. Um, and it, that's basically what it means. Um, the three of pentacles. Is um, teamwork. So you're going to be teaming up with, you know, two people. It looks like um, card number three is money opportunities that you may want to consider more closely. 
maybe you want to consider that desk job you know maybe it will give you what you want I can see you having doubts about a job offer um, with this card I think you should definitely take the job So the Three of Wands is showing that you're searching for something, you're researching. Whatever it is that you're researching, you need to go for it, okay? Um, card number four um, is who or what project will bring in more money? So I get the sense there's an older man, you know, giving some advice. I see there being some sort of political career. Maybe some sort of religion, some sort of spiritual based practice with this card. Um, maybe even going into the legal field you know in some sort of position of authority but not to abuse your power but to actually make you know uh, things better so this is some sort of political um position or or maybe even um some sort of high um high class uh, some sort of case not high class high profile case so maybe a lawyer a judge you know your final card is the seven of wands um, the seven is a lucky number It means that you're confronting a, di a difficult situation, though. And that's okay. Some of you Pisces are going to go through some, some um, you know, difficulties. You know, there may, be even, there may even be some legal issues. But the Seven of Wands is a really good good energy because it denotes as competition and it denotes overcoming competition so you're definitely going to have some good luck this month um, as long as you do not fold for your competition then you'll come off on top um, the self doubt that you're feeling you need to let that go and you need to make it very clear where you stand okay um, in particular, um, this is an increase of finances. This is a seven. This is good luck. Um, you may end up with some sort of bonus that you wasn't expecting this month. Um, something that you own is worth a lot of money, possibly. But, I mean, just there's definitely um, some money, you know, good luck money spirits around you um, for the month of April, Pisces, okay? Um, if you want a more personalized reading, definitely uh, check out my website in the video description box. Um, make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure that you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.